Hey guys, how's it going? This is Ability here. In this video, I'll be announcing a project that I've been slowly working on for a couple of weeks now. I just got back from vacation and it's very important that I got back by today because this almanac, which is craft craftsmen have a 15% chance of keeping their ingredients when they craft items in Bonta, is ending very soon. In fact, it's ending in exactly one hour. So I need to work quickly before this runs out. So the plan for this video is, if you'll notice, I'm on the character Ability, which is my main character on the server Echo. For the past year now, I've played exclusively on the server Iliazel, which is a mono account server. I found myself missing the feeling of playing a four-man PVM team, so in this video I'm going to be using this almanac to gear a four-man team on Echo. And I already have all of the ingredients and everything prepped to craft their sets. These are their the characters that I chose. We used to have a team of eight, which were these top eight characters. However, Misha does not play Dofus as much anymore, and I play on a laptop and would not be okay playing eight characters. It just would it wouldn't work. So I've chosen these four to be the four that I will be creating sets for. Um, because of the the amount of time before the almanac ends i'm not going to go too deep into their sets however i did map out the prices of everything so you can see and you're going to see me craft most of these things but this spreadsheet is a map of everything that went into this team um so the rogue will be intelligence here and they will only have an intelligence set the iliotrope will be agility and they will only have an agility set the panda is both of these two um, boxes and the panda will be a tank set in the top and a water crit damage set in the bottom and the IOP will have two sets he will have an Omni set which is a crit damage Omni set up top and he will have a pure strength set which is a crit damage strength set down bottom so these are the costs of all their sets as you can see the Iliotrope only costs 12.5 million but as you can see from these columns, it's because I already owned a lot of his gear, and that's because Ability, my rogue, used to be Agility before I moved to Iliazel. So I got to keep a lot of the gear there. But I went through and mapped out whether they would be cheapest to buy from the market, like the Shylock rings, um, cheaper to craft, like a Meridian cloak, or if they were equal and in the case that they were equal I chose to craft it because I'll end up saving 15% hopefully with the almanacs now the items that are quite interesting here are the IOPS um, bleeding heart set if I go back to the game um, so let's go grab those ingredients now and hopefully I can carry them all I should be able to I believe so this chest has the things that were cheapest to buy in it, as well as some random stuff, um, like the dofuses and the pets that they'll be using. So this chest at the end of the video, I'll fill with all of their gear. Most of this is unmaged, except for a few things that I kept from my rogue previously, but I have been stocking up commas and working the markets and making enough money to go through with this plan over the past two weeks. And now I have a little less than one hour to make it happen. So let's get crafting and make sure that we don't miss anything. So in this chest, I need the resources, which is about 13 mil worth of resources. And that's just extra stuff. And then both of these two chests, I believe, are full of things that I need. So this is 96 million commas worth of stuff. Uh, I believe I need it all. Yes, I need all of that. Okay, and then this chest should be full, and I should need everything in here as well. Lots of nuggets. Uh, yes, I need everything in there, and I don't think... I think this is something else. Yes. Yeah, I don't need that. Okay, so I have everything. Let's just see the before costs, or the before. So average price of 180 mil there. And those don't really, those aren't worth much. And I don't think there's, no, there's nothing usable items in the crafts. Okay, so 180 mil. So let's do, what is it exactly though? It's 181, uh, 198, 766, 
times 0.15 for 15%. So I should be saving. Um, I should be saving. Oh, I have all chat turned off on this. So let's put the commas in there. Okay, so I should be saving 27,179,814 commas, 0.9. <laughs> All right, so that number, I actually will probably save less than that because some of the crafts in there aren't able to be crafted in Banta. Um, for example, shields, trophies, idols. Yeah, I put idols in there too. I'm crafting everything today. And there's a couple other things in there. Lumberjack stuff. Aspen log. I can't craft that in Bonta. I don't think. That would be nice if I could craft that in Bonta. I can craft the boots that the Aspen log is a part of in Bonta. But I don't believe there's a lumberjack market. No, there's not. Okay. So the team is going to be missing a lot of dofuses by the end of this craft session. Where do I make Aspen sap? Um, hmm. Aspen log, sorry, where do I make an Aspen log? Oh, it's farmer. Oh. Is there a farmer workshop in Vanta? Um. Well, we can just look at the workshop list. I I guess it's Aspen Sap gets it. Oh, there is. That is so nice. So Aspen Sap is about 14 million commas on this server, and I'll have a 15% chance of keeping it, which will be amazing. So I guess it's a bake recipe. You bake a log. That's weird. Oh, it's because it's a consumable. Okay. Oh, I get to make puffed frosties as well. Slightly less expensive, but still about two mil. So let's do puffed frosties first. So 15% chance that I keep the puffed frosties. And I believe I'll have to close my inventory before I can see. And then Aspen sap. Well, let's check the frosties first. No, I don't believe I kept it. I did not. That's okay. So there's minus two mil there. Aspen log. This would be 14 million commas saved if I keep it. That would be insane. 15% chance. I kept two millet. No way I kept it though. No. Dang. That would have been, that would have put my profit way through the roof. Okay, so now that we have those, we need to craft a few other things to prepare but I don't remember what they are so we're just gonna go down the list now smith magi I definitely need to craft things there oh no sorry <laughs> that's such a confusing name uh, smith I need to do but we'll just go down the list carver yes I need cat's eye bow turtleinia wand um Ermine's rolling pin corrupted bow no, I don't need a corrupted bow. So I need to be careful of crafting things that I don't need. It's just I need the I have the resources for other things, so it's saying that I can craft it, but I don't need the corrupted bow. That's not in anyone's set. The rogue, the Intel rogue will be using a steely mace, which is oh I should have checked how many pebbles I had at the start. Sparkling pebbles. I can still check. 80 after those two crafts. So I probably had close to 90. Okay. Air means rolling pin, good. So I will check what I'm saving now at the end because I need to keep moving. In case anything lags, which I'm already quite laggy, I wanna make sure that I finish this all. Handyman, no. Fisherman, no, no. Jeweler, for sure. I'm gonna have a lot of things to craft here. So I need to be very careful not to craft things that are not a part of my sets because I'm sure that I have enough resources to craft some random stuff that I don't actually need. Okay, so let's make sure. Amulet of Bleeding Heart, I definitely do need for the IOP. So what's the expensive thing on there? Puffed Frosty's Bread. So let's check if I save Puffed Frosty's Bread. That one I am gonna close out and just check right away because that's two mil if I save. Don't think I did. No, didn't save that. 
So two 15% chances to save the puffed frosties, but neither of them worked. Corruptions ring, yes, for the IOP. Hopefully I'm getting lucky with these 15% because it's not exactly 15. It's just a 15% chance for every individual resource. So it can skew and you can get um, outliers like the Aspen Sap would have been an outlier. Deep Sea Bracelet. I do not need a Deep Sea Bracelet. Yes, I do need a Deep Sea Bracelet. However, the Almanax has now ended and this is going to be a very sad craft. No 15% there. Jamie Jack Glove. Let's double check. Jamie Jack Glove, craft, yes, I do need that. Okay. Oh, I don't think I crafted whatever was in there. Yes, I need a Jamie Jack Glove. This is already quite laggy. laggy. Lunar Necklace, no, I don't need. Paul Atano's Ring, yes, I need one for the panda. Well, let's double check. I'm gonna start double checking more often. Yes, I do. Because I know that I need one, I just don't know if I had already bought one. Rin Needle Amulet, yes for the rogue. Slobber Puss Collar, yes for the Pandawa. Oh, I skipped the Rin Needle Ring, which I do need. Wow, this is quite laggy. Rin Needle Ring, yes for the Pandawa as well in his chance set. And I'll be having to mage all of these. I made sure to make enough commas that I would have enough to mage at the end. So Spookoth Amulet I need as well. Barbaric Wedding Ring I believe I need. Let's just do a double check. That would be for the Panda. And I do need one. So yes. Um, I'm really excited for this team. I think it's going to be strong. The IOP was originally going to be a Hupper Mage, but when the Hupper Mage nerfs came, I decided to switch it um, because I would have to class change the IOP into a Hupper Mage, and without, you know, I don't need to class change the IOP. And since Hupper got nerfed, IOP is still very strong, especially as full strength, and he'll be in a 12 6 set. So, 12 6 Jump Wrath with an Eliotrope in the team should be very strong. Shoemaker, definitely need a bunch there. All right, so I haven't checked if I've saved anything. Taylor and Shoemaker will be a big area to be able to save stuff. Bluster Bell, yes, for the Eliotrope. Okay, Boots of the Bleeding Heart. Here's the second chance at saving the Aspen Lock. It's really nice crafting the, the consumable because you get two chances at saving it. So Aspen Log, 14 mil if I save this. That would be insane. I'm gonna check right away. Boots of the Bleeding Heart. Oh. No way! What? 14 mil. I was supposed to only save 27 mil and there's 14 mil in one craft. Holy crap! 15% chance. Two tries at 15% chance. And I got it. Oh, that's awesome. I might even craft a second set of boots, but we'll wait till we, uh, we get everything else set first. That's awesome. Wow. Corruption's bill. Yes, I need this for the IOP. That's- I just got a free pair of Bleeding Heart boots. That's a 14 mil resource, and the boots are a 16 mil craft. That's, like- Unbelievable. Crocobel, yes for the rogue. I believe. Yeah, definitely. Kongoku Bill, yes for the Pandawa. I might do a relog after this um, because crafting mass amounts of items like this is very taxing on Dofus and it makes it run like crap. Pathogastrix, I believe, yes for the tank panda. Yeah, I definitely need those. So I think I need everything else in this list. Because the Treadfast build is part of the Omni set. And that's the only one I was kind of questioning. And the unnameable boots are probably what the rogue is wearing. Yes, it is. So I need everything else listed here. As I get closer to the end of crafting items, 
it should stop suggesting crafts that I don't actually need because I won't have excess resources as much. So I am so stoked that I saved that Aspen log. That is quite lucky. I can't believe that happened. Fun fact about Nomero, when I was planning out their gear, it was cheaper to buy Nomero hat, not the boots, it was cheaper to buy the hat because it was 2 million commas in the market. And I waited one day before buying them and it was 4 million commas the next day. So then it became cheaper to craft them, which was uh, 2.9 million commas. So I lost 900 KK there for waiting one day. I guess I should jump on it when it's cheaper to buy them in the market. Okay, so Smith, I believe I have a couple things. Daguanos, no. Hammature, yes. Steely Mace, yes. I don't need Daguanos, right? No, because the Chance Panda is going to be using Ethical Wand. Why didn't I craft an Ethical Wand? Let's see. Ethical Wand, buy. Okay, so I must have bought it already. Yeah, sometimes the the lower level items like Shylock Ring, Ethical Wand, um, sometimes those are cheaper to buy because people level off them for their profession, which creates an excess and then they drop in price. So Taylor, so after Taylor, I'll have to go to the Artificer and that might be it. So I'm, I think I managed to get everything done inside of Bonta, except for Artificer, of course. But Artificer, I don't even have too, too much. I think I have some trophies and some idols and a couple shields. Burning Cape, no. Jammy Jack Cape, yes. So the Eliotrope is going to be in a 12-6-6 agility set, which is the like dungeon solo agility set. Um, I don't know how useful six ranges on an agility Ilio Eliotrope. I also don't know how useful 12 AP is, but do I need this? Yes, I need this. Sorry, I'm like <laughs> trying to triple check that I need everything I'm crafting. The rogue will be wearing a Merdiodin cloak. Yes. Okay, I forgot to relog. Well, we're almost done anyway. Scap you helmet. Yes, the rogue will be wearing this. So for the mages, I I have to mage all this stuff, which is going to take a long time, but it's PVM gear, so it won't be too, too bad. So who's wearing this? I think the IOP wears that for both sets, actually, the strength and the omni. Nomero hat. Yeah, this is the one that I should have bought, but I waited. So we'll craft it. Dragon helmet, yes, for the panda. The nice thing about the dragon helmet is I might not have to AP drop it. Well, we're going to see about that. Do I need a Turtolonia carapace? It would be on the IOP if I did. Let's see, where's the cape? I do. Okay. Cool. So there's that. So I maybe should have unchecked things as I crafted them. But that's okay. So I need to go artificer now. Yes. And I'm going to do the idols last because I'm guessing I can craft a lot of idols and I don't exactly remember which ones I need to craft. I didn't write those down anywhere. Hmm. That was a bad idea. Well, we'll look through them and we'll figure it out. <laughs> Hopefully I don't craft anything that I don't need and won't sell. So let's start with shields because those are very important. And then we'll go to trophies. Anorice, yes, Panda. Captain and a Machna. Do I need that? Four leaf I definitely need. Do I need two four leaf? Hmm. Yes, I do need two four leaf. One for the chance panda and one for the ranged strength IOP. And I'm guessing Omni IOP. Yeah, need two. Okay. And then Captain Machna. Do I need this? I'm guessing I do because I can craft it. It would have to go on the eye off. Um, maybe I got it for Hammature? Yeah, I must have got it for Hammature. Sure, we'll take it. Hopefully I need it. Okay, now let's go to trophies. 
So trophies. This must be for the panda. So wow, I really started, <laughs> I'm gonna craft everything, I guess. I don't even get 15% on these. I probably didn't realize that when I started with the low ones. I probably thought I was gonna get 15% per craft. Or maybe it was just cheaper this way. Yeah, okay, so major, major Miracle Man is for the Pandawa tank set. And what are these, lock and lock? Yeah, those are all for the Pandawa. There should be like a craft all button on this that will just craft everything that's possible to craft. That would be nice. Cause then you could stockpile everything to get a profession from level one to 200 and then just bam, one bang it. It would save so much time and lag. Oh no, I'm missing something. I'm missing thicket substrate. No. Wait. Yes, I am missing stuff. Okay. Stickler. Sticker? Stickler. Stickler crafted. Major stickler crafted. Alright, so that should be it for the trophies. I hope. Let's just double check we're not missing anything. Trophies. Oh. Oh, okay. Those were. I bought those. Craft those three. None, none. Buy, none. Good on trophies. Idols. Where are idols? Here they are. Okay. So. Great Oaf. Uh, <laughs> sure. Sure. Great Oaf. Great Dynamo. Sure. It's a good idol. Major Oaf. I'm guessing if I got Great, I'll take Major. Major Yosh. Major Dynamo sounds good. Can I still craft this? I can. Sure. Take that. I'm guessing I set up for ranged and CC idols and the rest are in the chest. That's my guess. That rhymed. So I think that's everything. Um, definitely my inventory did not look like this when I started. So it looks like I started here. So we crafted all the way back to here. That's a lot of stuff. And then there's all the stuff in the chest as well. And we saved Aspen Log. Should I use it and up my agility? Ooh, I almost just double clicked it because I was like, oh, it's not going to work because I'm already maxed out on agility. But if I was missing HP, I bet you it would have let me eat it because energy and HP bread, like things that give both at once, will let you eat it if you're missing only one of those two things. So never double click Aspen Log. Okay, I'm back after that relog, and I had a bad realization during that off-camera time. I forgot to sign everything. I didn't sign a single thing I just crafted, and it would have been signed by Mage by ability. I even put the only thing in this resource, like inventory slot, before I started was a signature rune. Just to remind me to do it. And I still didn't. <laughs> okay, well, whatever. Not that signatures matter for anything, but that would have been fun to uh, to, to have it, you know, my gear signed and mage by me. So I believe these idols are all correct. And so now the question is, do I want to craft a second pair of Boots of the Bleeding Heart? Wow, 20 mil. All right, so we already saved one Aspen Sap. This pair of boots is essentially free. It's costing me three mil to craft, but I'll make three mil profit on selling it. So this is a free pair of boots. This craft is completely free and whatever I save is just profit. And if I save another Aspen Sap, that would, let's see, my profit was supposed to be that. I already saved one Aspen Sap. So it's going to be that plus a lot. Um, if I save another one, I don't even, I, I don't think I will, it's 15% chance, but if I do, that's going to be nuts. Should I sign these? I mean, I didn't sign anything else. You know what, I'll sign them just so that if I ever see them again, I'll know. Whew. Okay. Crafted by ability, I wish I did that for everything, but it's all right. I almost just knocked down my green screen. What? 
I just saved my entire my entire thing in two crafts. I only have a, I only have 12 minutes to do it again. What? This I okay, I'm running out of time. I have 9 minutes. If I save it again, I'm not going to have time to do this again. Okay, I don't have time to buy the eight singles. Encapsulated soul blades, don't have time to buy the singles. I don't even know how many I'm missing. Bork nail, these are actually expensive, so let's see how many I'm missing. Oh, perfect, I'm missing 10. Okay, let's go again. I can't believe this. I saved two Aspen Sap. I'll do like a, a count up of how much I saved all in all at the end, but I don't have time right now because the Almanax ends in nine minutes. Okay, no way, right? No way. I mean, I said that the last time. There's no chance that I save it three times in a row. That's a 15% chance two times in a row already. And we're going for the third. So, I mean, these are free. Obviously, <laughs> this craft is free. The last craft was free. Let's let those laggy resources go out. There's no way that I saved it again. Okay, I'm not, I mean, I don't even know how to react to this. Can't believe I didn't save that. That's ridiculous. Should have saved it the third time. <laughs> so, wow. I have how many pairs of Boots of the Bleeding Heart in my inventory now? Three? Two. Oh, I'm wearing one. I was like, whoa, <laughs> okay. So I have three pairs of Boots of the Bleeding Heart. Free, free, paid. All right, guys, so after taking a little bit of time to calm down after the Aspen Sap ordeals, it's time to figure out how much we saved all in all. So I, in the spreadsheet, I uh, made sure I got all the values right. So as you can see here, left in my resources are 23.5 million commas. And originally I said that we were supposed to save 27 million. What I overlooked with this number, though, is that that 27 million was including the, the crafts that were in the artificer market, which did not benefit from the almanacs. So I can't include those in this value. So this is a little bit off. So what I did is in the spreadsheet, I, can you guys see those values? Yes, you can. Oh no, my, my uh, blue towel is uh, leaking. Okay. So in the spreadsheet, you can see this is how much I spent on everyone's set combined. This is like the total amount of commas that I spent. This is the total amount of commas that I spent on things that were crafted inside of Bonta today. So that does not include pets. Like let's see, Borhog here is 12 million commas. That doesn't include that. And um, it doesn't include shields or trophies. So this is the sum of everything crafted today. So what you guys just watched me craft, I spent 150 million commas on the resources. Well, 148.5. So then this is 15% of that number. So this is what I should have saved is 22.2 million commas. So I should have saved 22.2. So if we go back to the game, you can see that I saved 23.5, which is much better well, not much, that's better than 15%. So I got lucky with that one. Um, but then that's not including the Aspen Saps. So if I take this number of 22 million commas, well, let's do it with what I actually saved, 23.5. So if I take 23, we're gonna round it by 5kk, 23.5 million commas, and I add both of the Aspen Saps, which are 14 million commas each, so that's plus 28 million commas in Aspen Sap. Unbelievable. We get 51.5 million, but then I'm overlooking, I crafted three boots of the Bleeding Heart. The craft total was 17 million commas. The Aspen Sap is 14 mil of that 17 mil, which means there's three mil in other resources. 15% of three million commas is 500 kk. Yeah, 500kk. So 500kk times three crafts is another 1.5 million commas saved 
from the excess resources other than Aspen Sap. So I saved 53 million commas today. That is insane. I was supposed to save 22.2 million commas and I saved 53. Unbelievable. I can't believe that that happened. Um, I'm so excited for the team on this server. If you guys play on Echo and enjoy PVM, I would love to play with you guys and do some dungeon runs. The team still needs the Dofus eggs, so I'm going to be questing for those. I have some of the things that I need, like I have one oak, no, two ochre, an ivory and ice. Um, I have those, but I'm missing lots of ebonies, lots of vulbuses, and a couple other stuff like abyssals. Um, so I will be doing questing on the team for those. I'm not going to buy those. I'm going to save my commas for maging the team sets. Uh, and then I'm gonna start questing for them. So I'll upload maging videos, but I would love to do like dreams with you guys. Dreams, infinite dreams is something that I've really been wanting to get into. Maybe I could even live stream and we could do dreams on one character. And then if the next live stream, if there's different people, we could do it on another character and we could get up into um, stage 400 and then reset, or we could keep going. We could have one that keeps going and reset the other three and make you guys some commas through doing dreams. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited for the team. I'm excited to play more than one account again. And on Ilya Zell, I am still deciding on what class to change. I actually haven't logged in on that server in about three weeks because I bought my class change and I don't know what to change to. So I just haven't logged in. Um, but yeah, that's going to have to change soon. I'm going to have to make a decision. I missed this Almanax on Ilya, which I'm really sad about. I'm, I mean, I can't be sad. I just got this on Echo, so I can't be sad, but I would have liked to have capitalized this on Illy as well, but I don't know what class to go, so this has been Ability. So happy with how this turned out. See you guys next time.